Hey guys, it's Rob Seepak with Paperless Humans. Welcome to the third episode of this free Apple Reminders course. In this episode, we'll be doing a lot more with our to-dos. Just to recap, let's start by creating a new list for traveling. That's the one we'll be working with for the next couple of episodes. Now let's add to-dos for my traveling checklist. So, here are the things that I need to check off my traveling checklist. I already know the date I want to travel to Mauritius for holiday this year. So, I can add a date to my to-do by simply tapping on it, going to the calendar icon on the top toolbar, and I will go to custom so I can choose the date that I want to travel. So I want to travel in September this year on the 5th. Then I will apply that. That's the simplest way to add a date to your to-do in Apple Reminders. Now, another thing that I can work on right now is finance. I need to save money. So for that, I will add the first date, which will be this month, February on the 28th. But I will be doing this every month. So now I need to repeat this task and I will go to monthly because that preset is already there. And I know that I will be saving money until the 28th of August. So I'm going to stop this repeating on the 28th. Of August. So I'll look for August 28 and I will apply that. To help me remember a bit more about this task, I will just add some very basic notes. As you can see from these two examples, you can add dates to your reminders in Apple Reminders. You can add dates for today, tomorrow, next week, this weekend, or customize this to pick a specific date like I was doing this whole time. There are those tasks that you need to do multiple times though. Creating a reminder for it each time you need to do that is not very practical. For my traveling plans, I need to do some research about Mauritius, the activities that we can do and accommodation options. So this is something that I will be repeating until I leave, basically. On Sunday, every two weeks at 4 p.m. Apple Reminders recognizes what I just wrote and it actually adds all the details for me right here. Apple calls this natural language. It works great for simple repeats, as straightforward as this. Okay, let's just pick a random to-do. You also have a lot of presets for your repeating options in Apple Reminders. You can repeat your tasks hourly, daily. And if these don't work for you, you determine how often you want to repeat this. For example, I can repeat my traveling every year in September, but I don't want to do it every year. I want to do it every two years. So I'm going to put two years here and I will apply this. Another example for a student. So the student will want to practice maths every three days until they test until the 29th of March. Hopefully now you know how to add dates to your to-dos. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.